Hi guys, this is a guy 1013 and this is duck profile video. One of the last few duck profile videos because tomorrow is June 29, but for me, all end at June 30, 11 a.m. SGT. Anyways, this is Genesis Regalia. The I have it, I have enough cards for it, so I did. So, anyways, let's talk with the main finisher or the first four of because we have a lot of one. Two of technically one of because some of them require persona blast, some of them of course you to flip something. Anyways, ultimate regalia of almighty Minerva Minerva. Her first skill usable just in case you went first with tier and you are not a GB3 because her best skill is GB3, which is you soul blast when this unit attacks, you soul blast six cards with regalia in this card's name at the end of the battle, and you also have to discard one card from hand, that's regalia, or any card from hand. Then you send everything that's Regalia in this card's name. And you lose triple drive. The first skill gives you you remove you soul blast three regalia cards and you persona G persona. Then you the Vanguard gets plus ten thousand power and one plus one drive. And every time you attack you draw a card. Then tier. Tier is once per turn, soul blast three cards. When you and you check the top card of your deck, if it you put check the top card, put it at the top or bottom. Then when you attack, when you drive check any non-trigger unit, you soul charge three. So you either get super lucky and you get triple trigger, so you never soul charge anything, or you get or you get one trigger and you soul charge six. So yeah, tier is based on luck. Then we have Earth, <coughs> which is. When you stride her, she puts everything that's regalia in her drop zone into your soul. So if you are so lucky that you keep drive checking cards non stop and they go into the drop zone, they'll just go to your soul. Then, Counter Blast Persona Blast, you gain skill where you can soul blast six cards, any six cards, and you get plus one crit. And that's not once per turn. I mean, you can put a lot of it. Then we have must spell must spell skill is turn a card in the region face up. Soul blast any number of cards. Just one of your regards for each soul blast is card in and they get plus four thousand. If you soul blast three or more, you draw a card or you can counter charge. So you should never soul blast more than three because soul blast more than three, drawing a card or counter charging a card, you only get to draw or counter charge. But their counter charge since we don't have a consistent counter charger in this deck besides her then we have Dementor which is perfect if you're running Legion which we do but hers costs this counter plus one when this unit attacks soul charge three counter charge one for each card in your for your heart if you have two hearts you soul charge six counter charge two majority case is you only soul charge three counter charge one because <coughs> Over grade three lineup, then Harmonic Messiah, our unlocker, our damage denier, denier, and if you go first, gives you a heal guard. Ultima, counter plus two, pick four cards from your deck, pick up to two to call, then put the rest on top of your deck in any order. And when you drive, check a trigger, apply all those trigger effects, like everybody gets plus five, everybody stands and stuff. Then our grade and our triggers is. Four copies of Regalia with some Angelica, the retrain, not the break right, the retrain because of her on right skill, which is you can target a Regalia in your drop zone, put it to your soul, and you draw a card. And the Regalia must not have a trigger unit. Then her other skills when you strike the Regalia unit, you check top four, pick one to your hand, the other to the soul, the rest goes to the drop zone. This can cost you to deck out, so be careful. Then Yggdrasil, classic card, skill is when you are in Legion, Soul Blast 6, she gains a crit, and your opponent cannot guard with PG's unless they discard greatly, but heal guards are things so her effect becomes a bit weaker. Then she has another skill is if you Soul Blast 3, you can draw a card. If you have another guy in your center column, which you might do because if you're in Legion, you have, or you can call a booster. Then two copies of Dreaming Dragon to refill our deck because we don't want to deck out. Then four copies of Freya. Freya skill is if you're a greater, greater Galia, 
Counter plus one, you draw a card, pick two, regal in your drop zone, add it to her hand. Her other skills every time your Vanguard attacks, that's a regalia. She gets plus three K it's a GB two skill. You don't really care about the GB two skill. You only care about her first skill anyways. Then the next card is a Tua, which is Genil. Her skills when she attacks, she gets she can get plus two K if you do, put her to the soul. And her other skills is GB one skill, which is if she soul blasted, put pick one of your regal units, they get plus three K. Then we have Norn, similar to Negel, except she only affects the Vanguard and the Vanguard gets plus 5k. And when she Soul Blasted, then Twilight of Regalia Hesperis. When it's Soul, when she Soul Blasted, it gives the Vanguard an ability. When this unit attacks, you can retire a card. <coughs> Most likely, back row card since, since you're gonna kill the intercepts first, anyways. Via attacks. Then, four copies of the Regalia PG because Regalia name. And her skills when she soul blasted, you can bind a co copy of herself in the drop zone to add her to your hand. Then four copies of you expel angel when you have a regalia vanguard, put three regalia with no triggers from your drop zone to bottom deck. This card gets plus three. If you have a face up regalia card in your G zone, you draw a card. Then our stride father, she has uh, generic skills of the stride father. So yeah, which is great because we run seven great trees instead of the nine, which is great. Then we have our last one of, so there's that, and our starter, which is skills counter plus one, put to soul, check top three, pick one, put it to soul, put the rest in the drop zone, and if you have a regalia, if you put regalia, you draw a card. Anyway, let's check if we can get an opponent since Vanguard Zero is literally dying in less than two days as of this. Videos recording. Okay, we got an opponent. It is there's a chance it's a VP farmer, but then again, what are the chances of the people getting a VP farm? The game is literally dying. People only VP farm is because they want to be able to get the banner and stuff. Hopefully, it's not a VP farmer. It is blasters. Why do they run the start when Wingle Brave is such a better starter? Such an old card, dude. Like for some strange reason, old cards. In Vanguard, in Vanguard's life, some of them are good, like Wingle Brave, Blizzard Soldier Kano, but it's completely different in in other cards like Yu-Gi-Oh. Like some cards, like Yu-Gi-Oh, majority of them is the old cards are not as good as the new cards, except for like powerful spell cards that are banned, like Pot of Greed, Graceful Charity, Delinquent Duo, Confiscation, Painful Choice, and other cards. <coughs> Okay, riding this, calling this, putting this card skill. If this was Bargal and he hit, and this was Wingle Brave, you know what would happen? He would have such a blaster grade 1 or 2. Already. So, let's see. I didn't get a good drive check. Putting Angel here just in case. Okay, it can hit. It can hit. Okay, f thankfully we got a good opponent. And side note, I tried to record this yesterday. Or taking early this morning, but my mom said no to that. So, I'll I'll literally type that one as blooper because I was supposed to do another game. But in the end, I only had like one good game there. <coughs> uh. This one hopefully will get more games. Okay, we just lost Dreaming Dragon. We technically have one more Dreaming Dragon. <coughs> hmm. I'm calling Yggdrasil here. <coughs> uh. 
Okay, swinging with the vanguard. If I get... Okay, didn't get Dreaming Dragon. Okay, I got another draw card. I have three cards in my drop zone. Not that good. And I'm upon getting first stride. Which is kind of sad. Like, first stride is everything in Vanguard Zero. So there's that. Blast. Okay, that's Gantz a lot. And they retire that when they ride Blaster Blade Exceed. Interesting. <coughs> oh my gosh, that, is that Flogal? That reminds me, I have like a s extra set of Flogal crits. Oh. The only thing you're doing there is just like getting ready for. Oh, it's not just you. And because a lot of cards are Blaster name now, so you can. The bet there's no Blaster PG or Blaster Stride Father. If there was, you would be able to use this. And you have no Counter Blast. Oh well. Counter Church 1, but first right, so you don't get a crit. And fun fact, if I remember correctly, Royals won a world championship for Vanguard, if I remember correctly, the TCG Vanguard. And they are using more or less blasters, which was like, wow. Uh, retire protection. It's an intercept, so we more or less, okay, I'm gonna... That will be, uh, okay, what do I do? I'm gonna go Urk. Yeah, I'm gonna go Urk. gonna go work so I can do stuff okay check top four pick one to hand the one goes to hand the one that goes to the soul this will go to the drop so anyways and I'm gonna add everything for Gali anyway so putting everything to the soul now <coughs> okay soul blasting six Putting the PG to hand, then call this card here. Deduct this card skill. Then I'm putting these two. So, do I have another one? I do not, but I can activate this card skill again. Risking it, I'm gonna be down to two, and I have no way to salt. I'm gonna risk it. Be a bit more aggressive. <coughs> Get another one. Okay, do I have another one? Yes, I do. Activate this card skill, which allows me to put three to my soul to the bottom of the deck, and I get to draw one card. He's 10k, I have no more grade 3, so... Okay, this will push for 2 damage. No, no, 3 damage. <coughs> okay, let us go, let's see what... Retire 1 Bark Gull. Retire 1 Flow Gull. My opponent has no board and will take 3 damage and I only run. Stands and draws, a majority of them are draws. So, Blaster Blade Spirit, Wingle. What's this new Wingle though? Wingle Youth. <laughs> okay. Okay. Background noise, that's my sister. So, <coughs> uh, downsides of being not having a room. Okay. I am recording this at 7:13 p.m. 
June 28, 2023. And it's 7.13 p.m. SGT. Okay. Unless he has a Wingle Brave. Okay, he doesn't have a Wingle Brave. And unless he runs Stand Triggers. He, I don't think he runs Stand Triggers. I'm more or less safe. I have like three perfect guards, one heal guard. I have, like, I have three perfect guards and one heal guard, so I'm safe. That's a PG number one. That is a PG number two, most likely. If not, that's a heal guard. <coughs> PG number two. And PG number three. Okay, just that's like two PGs that went to the bottom of the deck for him. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna put this card to my soul. Okay, then striding this card. I'm now GB three. Striding with this card here. It lets me. Okay, I'm gonna check. Bye bye, Counter Blast. I'll miss you. I'll put this card to my. No, this card to my hand. Then I'm putting this card to my soul. All the rest go to the one with my deck. Calling these two cards here, sadly. Then activating this card skill. Putting the three PGs back. I draw a card. Again. Putting these three. <coughs> then I'm calling this. Because I'm gonna solve blast three, so there's that. Everything will. I'm GB3, so there's that. So there's that. Yeah, I'm GB3. Oh my gosh, why can't I use the skill? Oh my gosh, did I have... Okay, I have two non-regalias in the soul. Because I have two non-regalias in the soul. I should have kept my regalia count. Oh well, misplay. I thought I'm gonna bring it up to six. Turns out I was wrong. If I pick a non... If I pick a regalia to put to the soul instead of the pesky heal guard, I would have most likely... Restanded. Oh well, it's my own fault. Okay. I only have heal guards left in my deck, that's the thing. I only have heal guards left. I literally only have heal guards left. Uh, I am so, so, so dead. Uh, I mean, the misplay didn't count for certain cards in my soul. I should always make sure my soul. Then again, it's been a while. It hasn't been a while. I tried to play this deck yesterday and I played the majority of the stream yesterday. That and machining. I tried playing machining and then it's like basically playing dark phase. Except you have the machining combo stuff. Do I even have a heal? I have... No heal stuff in deck. Okay, I am dead. My one has eight cards left in deck. <laughs> okay, Nebula is around three. Oh, I should prepare one slot now. Uh, And I lost. I lost because I misplayed. Because I didn't account for my soul. If I counted for my soul, I might have won that game. <coughs> Those are the things you need to account when you're playing this deck. Your soul, 
You have to make sure you get the right soul. Oh, I have six. I, I got six. You have to double check and make sure. Okay, do I have regalias? That's why some decks requires you to take too much time to play because you have to remember or know all the information available. If not, it's going to cost you to lose. Uh, which is kind of sad, really. You need to work extra hard just to do to get your wins. Then again, this deck can win based on the fact that I'm Legend 22. Will I reach Legend 30 before the the game ends? Because like Legend 30 is like what I used to do every single season, like Legend 30. Then I get to within like top 1,000, and I get the free SP rank reward. That's before like I start stop playing seriously. Like that was mostly when I had to take care of Coco, rest in peace Coco, our unofficial channel mascot. Send me 4,000, 4,000, 5,000 pesos for. Me, so I can make a soft toy copy of Coco. Technically, you can make a soft cop, soft, uh, stuff toy copy of Coco. I have so many videos of Coco. Just have to show them the videos, and the person can make the stuff toy. In case Aqua Force, will it be Maelstrom, Blue Wave, or Tavas, or will it be a mishmash deck? It looks like Tavas. Tavas is a very good deck. For us to play against, it's more or less equal level. Okay. Um. <coughs> Weird starter. Most of us play Eric. That's the thing. Like, every one of us plays Eric, the great researcher for. The great researcher for. Aqua Force. Okay, don't we have Yggdrasil? That's good enough for me. Uh, I top deck Angelica, or we ride Yggdrasil. Plus, you only check, you only search the grade three if you need it at your grade two turn because that's the last chance you get at your grade two turn. If you don't have it by grade two, oh well. <coughs> and plus, we run nine seven. Grade threes and seven those are draw triggers. So even if we somehow don't we somehow check them, they will be draws. Okay, I'm gonna call this card here. Okay. I'm gonna activate this card here now. <coughs> I am putting this card to the soul. Calling this card here. Then swing. Okay, okay, okay. Downsides of uh, my sister came in while I was recording, so I had to mute myself, which is annoying. If you don't like, if you can't be on stream, it feels like you're on stream, because look what I'm doing. Okay, what will I get? I'll draw a card first. Putting uh, this and this. Okay. <coughs> I need one more trigger. Oh well. Okay. Okay, we did. We push our opponent to three. While we're at two, we have board advantage. Advantage goes to them, but then it's like. 
it's normal for Tavas players to don't go out until they stride because if they do they all lose their key pieces okay Again, my sister interrupted me, so I have to mute myself. Which is annoying, not just for me, it's also for you guys who are watching this video. Then again, I have to retry again, which is annoying, and I'm losing my voice. <coughs> because it's been a while since I talk a lot like this, so. Okay. My Vanguard will be 16. At minimum. Maximum 21. So only the uh, assault title assault great will do something. Benedict, if I remember Benedict. I well, used up four copies, but I sold it in a way with comments and against like uh feels sad. Okay, 21,000. <coughs> he draws a card. Bye bye, grade 1. Ouch. Heal is good. I'm 26, so he can only deal me one more damage. <coughs> Not enough power. Not enough power. Okay. And I'm gonna be striding this card. <coughs> it lets me solve plus three. And lets me check the top card. Me that first thing first. That soul plus three. Unless this is a GB2 skill. This GB1. <laughs> I don't have any regalia in your G zone, so I'll call a grade 3 here. <coughs> Swing this here. I think this is not a good game to show, but then again, retire this card. Bye bye, Benedict. Should have gave that resist though. Soul charge 3. We get a draw trigger. We get a stand trigger. And you know what that means? We just lost all our dreaming dragons now. We are now close to decking out. We are so close to decking out now. It's like we, <laughs> we literally only have nine cards left in deck. We have seven cards in soul. How many of those seven are actually regalia? Six, so we can go. We can't even go Minerva. We have to go Earth. Hope for the best. Soul Blast six. Try win via crit. But then again, I'll, we, we might die this or this thing. We only have like two PGs and one heal guard. And it's three swings to face. That will gain like 1500, 15,000 power. I am 21,000. It will do nothing because like each of them will get 15,000 power. Okay, the main card is going to be heal guard. But so I have to guard 3 attacks. 3 more attacks. After the vanguard swing because 
that grade 2 is basically a title assault now <coughs> stands back up hope for heal trigger man that's all they can hope for right there 6 damage heal it literally came a 6 damage heal wow <coughs> okay 6 damage heal but thing is it won't guarantee us the win though because it's like because it's like I have to get at least okay I have to okay, bring this one check top 4 I'll put one and I'll draw I'll, I'll deck out if I go do with this plan I'll deck out I have to go with earth or no stride <coughs> activate card skill Okay, Legion. Oh my gosh, we're going all the way back to Legion. Is majority of my cards all Norn? Oh my gosh, two cards are Norn. Only one Norn's here. Okay, I'll soul charge three. <coughs> I got a PG. Okay, swinging here. <coughs> swinging here. Opponent has nine grade threes out. <coughs> Heal is good. We won with Yggdrasil. Old school way to win. Didn't they have any heal guards to block this? They must have not have any heal guards to block it. Okay, first game. Multiple misplays. Didn't account for all this game. Was close to losing, but found my key to victory. It's called Yggdrasil win. You need to remember, you just have to get over the heal guard power. That's it. And that's only it. Okay, been coughing a lot. I might have COVID or something like tuberculosis, bronchitis. Because my cough is not as good anymore. Uh. Upside, I have two videos I can upload. My blooper video and this one, which is gonna be great because we have one win. One more to be sure.
Okay. Nobatama Otskagero. Okay. Kagero des the destiny. Uh. Okay, so destiny, because you don't know until the grade one is played. Because like only the destiny or cargo cards play that grade one, right? I have a grade two. I want to be able to recycle. Getting oh, dumb Jid PG. Meaning he has at least a grade three in his hand. He has a he has at least two grade threes, possibly three grade threes in his hand. You can tell a lot about the Kagros player's hand based on what they search. Bye bye starter. We want to use your skill first. Foremost, adding uh, this card to our. So, uh, feel sad that we just lost a dreaming dragon. We only run two of those. I'm I'm intended to remove a copy of Yggdrasil for another copy of Dreaming Dragon, because we really need those. We don't want to lose via deck out. Made a misplay. <coughs> we didn't get a single card in soul. We are lucky and unlucky at the same time. Only way to get cards in soul. 
We're 1 to 4, but we don't have soul, which is basically, we're gone, man. We're gone. We only have like three cards in soul, meaning we have to go earth next turn. <coughs> then again, yeah, we have to go earth next turn. Okay, we have no more. We have no more. <coughs> Can't believe it, we have no more. We know he has at least one PG in his hand. That's the thing, we know he has at least one perfect guard in his hand because he had a dumb gen. Okay. Uh, goes to my hand because I need to guard and this card goes to the soul then everything goes to the soul now I accidentally pressed the streaming button. Thankfully, I stopped it. But then again, it was like for a split second at best. <sighs> Pushing our opponent to. Five. And we need to remember this. Kagro is still a three attack deck unless they're playing the Ace. Ziegenberg. Yeah, Ace, Ziegenberg. Unless they play those, they're three attack deck to fate to van yeah three attack deck to vanguard. Uh, even if they add overlord, don't think they do. It's just guarantees a three attack to face, which they won't do because overlord the original overlord is just too counter blast heavy. Unless you're facing the pada, <coughs> it is Ziegenberg. He has at least one soul, so he can use. Ziegenberg's skill for free, but high evolute and the uh, 10k base one will not have power. They will have like zero power. <coughs> they run the dim? Okay, but it's like the interesting reason to run, run the dim. A Conroe? So you can counter charge at least. So heal guard, perfect guard, perfect guard. No, no, I have double heal guards, then perfect guard, perfect guard. <coughs> Draw trigger. Hmm. 
Oh my gosh, I healed. <coughs> Seven triggers. Ten triggers are out of the thirteen. No, not seven, not ten. Nine triggers out of the thirteen, so they still have like four triggers left in deck. Oh my gosh, I made the misplay. Sheesh, I over put my soul again. Oh well. <laughs> to die by my hand or to die by my pawn's hand? That is the question. Lose via deck out. This is what happens when you don't keep your deck out. You need to check your deck. If not, you're gonna deck out. We have cases where you should make sure you check your soul. If not, you're gonna lose. We, we only have one game where you have a chance to win. Another game where you, where if you don't think of everything, you lose. Okay, another game. Might as well make this one hour long. Like I normally do with my videos nowadays. Basically a stream. Because how I talk is like basically I'm on stream. We're quiet majority of the time, then suddenly I start talking because I have a weird thought that came up. I'll, en I'll end this when reset occurs, which is like 14 minutes away. For me, I'm the wrong one recording this, so for me. Okay, Kagro again. Yup, GG's Vanguard Zero. GG's. Because it, like, I, like I already stated this before already. Like, it's a like. Uh, I still can't believe it's ending. Uh, my favorite game's ending already. I play this nearly. I play this every single day. Riding, okay, wrong card. This is our ideal ride. We still do not know because Blade uh, Overlord still plays that. Overlord still plays that. We do not know because, because like, Lava Flow Dragon is like a one of in an Overlord deck.
Okay, it's a Blade Master and we saw Blade Master Cohen and this card. They're specifically for Blade Master. So we already know the build we are facing. So that's already half the battle. Uh, picking this card. <sighs> We're already at half the battle now. Okay, since we are not regal, we don't get the stride bonus skill that regal normally has. So, do we have anything good here? We have some good stuff. <coughs> soul blasting. Oh my, I should have soul blasted first. Should have sold blasted first because look, I got something good. Okay, do can I? Re uh, it's only two. <coughs> okay, retire. Okay, we soul charge three. Heal is good. We saw Church 3 again. And we just lost a spare dragon. Okay, that's it. We have a lot of cards in soul, but sadly, okay, we have okay. First things right, skip putting her discarding the we'll put the stride father. We have 8 cards in our hand. We are picking this card. We'll add this card to our hand. Heal guard and putting this card to the soul. The rest goes on the bottom. They don't stay. Add the drop zone for long. Okay. Uh, 
Oke. Okay. Calling this card here. Calling this card here. Okay, then calling this card here, then activating. We will draw a card if we do that, so never mind. <coughs> Our opponent, what did they, what did they search? What did they search? I forgot. And then background noise is my mom. Okay, Ziegenberg, I have two PGs and one heal guard. Ziegenberg GG's and I'll lose I have no heal guards I have no more heal <laughs> I'll end this the ga last game will be the last game before timer sets and I have 3 minutes meaning I, if I lose right here right now I get to do one more game but uh, the hardest part of the regalia is like trying to do the Minerva play He's just trying to do the Minerva play. It's just so hard to do. <coughs> the Minerva play is just so hard to do. But I've been doing it consistently on stream. That's a thing. Like on stream, I was able to do it consistently. Here, not so much. Which is kind of sad. I was able to do it more or less but then again it's like that's on stream like that's that's the annoying part it's like because I don't I can't just I don't have any video editors so far nor do I know how to do I even want to know how to video edit <sighs> not really One more game before reset set in.
Oh. <coughs> okay, Gear Chronicle. Hopefully, I'm going second, so it gives me two chances to show my word because I Gear Chronicle like there's the ti a legitimate time limiter. If you don't beat them at before their third try, you lose. You lose, and even if you do survive, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna lose. I should know in my previous recording I was somehow able to survive the heritage turn. <coughs> Surviving the heritage turns. It's like wow. Congrats, you survived the almost impossible thing. <coughs> okay, get a draw trigger, part the rear guard, swing for two damage, and I'm going first, so I only get two turns. So I, I'll go earth, try to go big with earth, and Hoping that I can survive. I have to go big on Earth. Have, my first try has to be Earth. Soul Blast 6. Try to push. Then second try Minerva if, if possible. Uh, I have. Uh, I don't need to self ping though. I literally do not need to self ping. <coughs> do I get the trigger? I do not get triggers, but double intercept just to be safe. Pass turn. One of them will go to the bottom of deck. The other will will be in my drop zone. Hopefully. They run split Pegasus, and they just remember they so they rode, they they rode Nepada. What? Like, ugh. At least upside it might be an easier game because they miss, they forgot that Nepada and and split Pegasus are choice restrict. Avenir Phoenix with a push, but I'm just taking one damage. Heal is bad. Okay, by the looks of it, I will not strike Earth. I'll try to go with Tear and just Soul Blast 3 with. I just have to hope that I can Soul Charge a lot. I just hope I can Soul Charge a lot with Tear. Because that's the only thing I can hope for right now. <coughs> okay.
place at the bottom. <coughs> Can't use the skill, but I need to call this. Do I activate the card skill here? I think I'll do. There we go. Gets plus 3000, then swing here. <coughs> swing here. Now swing here. Soul charge 3. Another soul charge 3. We just lost a dreaming. Charge 3. We lost one dreaming and I think I still have one dreaming here. I still have one dreaming here. So next turn I can do a I can do a Minerva play. I have enough souls for it. Okay. Weird card come. This is not a ZTB though. It's just a gear dragon. <coughs> this will be blocked. Oh my gosh, she healed. The only upside is. It's because it's a gear dragon, not the Zodiac Time Beast. I'll live for an extra turn! <laughs> huh. I can't use the strike skill because it costs one counter blast, which kinda hurts me. Swing if I he heal trigger left. Do I have a heal trigger left? I have literally no more triggers left in deck. Three damage, heal is blocked. I will not give it power. I have enough soul to do my Minerva place, anyways.
Uh, take two intercepts, I'll take one hit, pushing, then swing, swing, and swing, let's check my soul. Oh, only one. Oh. <coughs> Remember, Minerva doesn't require counter blast, so I'm a bit safe. So I draw a card. Check the fire. Adding this to my hand, of course. Adding this to my soul. I have no trigger share, so this is useless, sadly. <laughs> this is useless, sadly, as a column. Okay, a Zodiac Time Beast. So maybe they're gonna do. They only have like three cards left in deck, though. If he time leaps, he decks out.
He literally only has two cards left in deck. I put. Wait, if I remember, you put one of his skill that allows him to put. Okay, he put. He has some five cards. All of them are non trigger, so. Uh, <laughs> okay. It only puts one, that's the thing. Only puts one. This thing puts two. <coughs> only have five cards, so not worth it. 16,000 Vanguard. On. Okay. 1,000. This is exactly six cards installed. Double check. Okay, it's six cards. All of them are regalia. I'm putting back heal guard because I'm gonna get a PG anyways. <coughs> Getting a PG. Heal guard. We won. We won finally. It just takes us so much effort to win. And thank you guys for watching. And bye bye.